I mean, if I can make it there, I give birth at NYU. And as far as a birth plan, I don't really have one specifically, but kind of on purpose, because I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't want to get too... I'm one of those people that could get too hung up on something if I let myself, so I've sort of chosen that sort of we'll see what happens. I feel like more connected to the baby generally because she seems much bigger and more human in a weird way. Like, I know I can't see her or touch her really except for inside, but I can. I almost can feel that there's a fully formed little person in there. The responses are sort of more human and it's not as sort of creepy crawly as it was before. I can't breathe doing anything. It's exhausting. Like, I, I accidentally, my phone went under the couch <laughs> a couple days ago, and it literally took me 25 minutes to figure out how to get it out. I was trying so many different angles, and it was really embarrassing. Like, I was glad nobody was here, because I was, like, panting and sweating. <laughs> it was just terrible. Yeah.